Hello and welcome to a Canon 70D tip. Today, how to connect your Canon to the new iPhone app. Let's start with the iPhone and go to the App Store. In the App Store, just search for Canon EOS and you'll have two apps there. So one is the old one called EOS Remote and then the new one, which is called Canon Camera Connect. Let's install the new one, the Camera Connect. After installing, open it and it will ask you to allow notifications. It'll also tell you to continue the setup on your Canon. So let's do exactly that. Let's turn on the Canon and go to the menu. If you go all the way to the right, so the third icon with the wrench, and go down, you'll have Wi-Fi. Let's enable the Wi-Fi. And now when we go to Wi-Fi function, it'll ask you to give a name to the camera. This will be the same name as the Wi-Fi network. So I just call it Canon 70D. And when you save it, you're now going to have the menu. There are a couple of icons on the menu. The second one on the top is the smartphone icon. So let's go to that one and do camera access point mode. So it's directly from the camera to the iPhone. Easy connection unless you want to do something specific, like change the channel. And it will tell you what is the password or the encryption key for your Wi-Fi. Back on the iPhone, look for the new created Wi-Fi, so Canon 70D and put the same password. So this would be 447-60503. When it connects, you'll see that the screen on the Canon changes and you can go into the app. The app will now have a pop-up that will show which camera has been connected. And when you press on it, you will connect. On the camera, look at what permissions you want to give to the app. So if you press info, the button on the Canon, it will tell you which images it will have access to. I normally give it all images. So press OK and give a name to this set. So let's say you have an iPhone or an iPad or a couple of other things you want to connect. If you give them a name, you can always say afterwards which one you want to connect to. So I'll call this iPhone. And after pressing OK and confirm set, you'll see that you're connected. So this is just confirming everything. And back on the app, we can see the images, and currently I don't have any. We can do remote live view shooting, and you'll see that it opens up the live view both on the camera and on the app. And you can do the basic things to shoot a picture. You can focus, so if you tap somewhere on the image, it will focus on that. Here you have two GoPros in the image. You will be able also to change settings, so settings like the aperture, because I have an aperture mode. And you'll see that whatever I do on the app, on the screen of the Canon, it imitates. You can also do change the, the ISO. So now I'm going to put it to 400, and you'll see on the screen of the Canon that it also changes. Here we have the exposure, so you can change it from more or less. And if you take a picture from the app, it will take it on the camera, and it will save it on the camera. So you'll see now on the bottom of the app that you have the picture that I just took. You'll see on the top of the app, you have three icons. The first one turns on or off the live view. The second one swaps in between the information displayed on the app screen. And the last one has a couple of settings. So either lock screen rotation or within settings, you can add the AF button. So a small little button just appeared, which is sort of like pressing the shutter button halfway. So it pre-focuses. Let's focus here. change some settings, and just take another picture to showcase something else. So now I'm going to have two pictures on the camera. You can review the picture. And if you go back home and also images on the camera, you have the two that I just took. And if you click on one, you have options like saving it to your smartphone, deleting it, or putting it favorites. So I just saved one to the iPhone and just deleted it. Another interesting button is camera settings, where you can send the date and time of the iPhone and synchronize it with the Canon 70D. And let's just go back to remote live view shooting to show some of the other options that you have. So if you press on the button on the bottom right, and then start going down, you'll see that you can change the same things that you can on the Canon 70D. So one is the drive. So let's set this up for delayed timer. 
and the other one would be the autofocus. So you can use the same options that you can when in live view. So it can be tracking, it can be a zone, or it can be automatic. So let's set this up and do a pre-focus and take a picture. You'll see that the timer now counts down. It's on the top left until it takes a picture. And when you're finished with your session, if you press on the top right, you can disconnect the camera. If you want to save your battery on the Canon, remember to disable the Wi-Fi in the menu. Thank you very much for watching. This was a Canon 70D tip. Subscribe if you want some more.